Okay, I'd like to welcome everyone to the Salt Lake City Council uh, work session veto override uh, for, what is today? The 20, June 28th, uh, 2019. Um, the first item on our agenda is um, a motion. I'll look for the, to the council. Mr. Chair, I would move. Dollar. Thank you. I'd move that the council open discussion to reconsider um, the vetoed line item appropriations in the fiscal year 2019 2020 adopted budget. Second. Okay, motion by council member Fowler, second by council member Johnston. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, the motion passes unanimously, so we uh, are now open for discussion. So I will look for uh, another motion. Mr. Chair? Council Member Fowler. I know we have a couple of options on motions here, but I think uh, motion three is, gets us to the point. So I'd, I'd move that the council override vetoed line item appropriations as shown on the motion sheet, except for veto 2B and veto 2D, which will be considered separately, and that the council uphold veto three. Okay, motion by Council Member Fowler, second by Council Member uh, Valdemoros, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? That motion passes unanimously. Mr. Chair, I, I would like to uh, recuse myself as the next part would uh, um, be involving my employer, Volunteers of America, Utah. Great. So Council Member Johnston is recusing himself for the next couple of uh, motions, or just one. So as soon as he is out, I will entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, <laughs> I move that the council over, um, I thought, override the, that the council override the 200,000 line item appropriation veto for service models for the most vulnerable. Second. Uh, yeah. Okay, sorry. motion by council member Fowler, second by council member Mendenhall. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Mr. Opposed? Chair. Uh, council Member Mendenhall. I move that the council adopt an ordinance to appropriate 125,000 of base ongoing funding for new house 20 and another 125,000 in new funding for new house 20 to go into a holding account. Thank you, uh, Council Member Mendenhall. Do you want to explain? Um, yeah, it's come to our attention this week that the $250,000 line item for House 20 included $125,000, uh, which we had appropriate, which we appropriated in last year's budget. That's existing programming, and, and I know that it was never the intention of the council to discontinue existing programming. This $125,000, as we understand, will allow the people who are both achieve, achieve, um, receiving rental assistance and case management today to continue on July 1 to have that assistance. And then we can have the discussion about the remain or the, the potential for us to expand the program by another 125 when we get into that unappropriated holding account policy discussion. Great. Thank you, Council Member Mendenhall. Any other discussion? Um, that Council Member Johnston has returned. Oh, Council Member Johnston's back. <laughs> Welcome back, Council Member. Um, so I just I, I just want to say on this that um, you know I appreciate Council Member uh, Mendenhall for making that motion. Um, in the work that the council had done in the regular in our regular budget process, the intent was always to create a more uh, transparent and streamlined process. Um, we had requested information from different departments. Um, when we didn't get that information, that's you know why the council moved forward with. Um, with putting things in the uh, reserve account just until uh, we had that information that we needed. Um, subsequently to the original action, as Councilmember Mendenhall mentioned, uh, we heard we received information uh, that uh, that one of our actions could potentially uh, put a program at, at risk in the individuals who are receiving that. Uh, as as Councilmember Mendenhall mentioned, that was never the intent of the council. Uh, had we received uh, that information before the budget, we could have moved forward with that, you know, without um, doing the budget the way that uh, that we did. Uh, however, better late, better late than never. Um, so now that we have that, we're um, 
you know, at least able to ensure that that program uh, continues so that we can uh, move forward with our, our streamlining and transparency uh, initiatives. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor. Aye. Aye. I, I don't think you had a second on that. Oh. But I'll second it. Okay. So, council, uh, so motion from Council Member Mendenhall, second from Council Member Fowler. Uh, now any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed? And that is passed unanimously. Um, we will, that, that concludes the uh, override work that, um, that we have today. We do have one other item, um, which is a closed session um, briefing for the purpose of? Uh, discuss reasonably, or pending a reasonably imminent litigation and advice of counsel. There we go. Um, so I'll, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, I move that we enter into a closed session for the purposes of um, pending or reasonably imminent litigation and advice of counsel. Motion from Council Member Fowler. Is there a second? Second from Council Member Valdemoros. I'll roll call this. Um, Council Member Valdemoros? Rogers? Yes. Fowler? Yes. Uh, Mendenhall? Yes. Uh, Wharton? Yes. Johnston? Yes. And I'm a yes. We are in closed session. Thank you all.